Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel RTWala and in this lecture we are going to discuss about 27 most important questions regarding to your microwave theory and technique examination and we will discuss about all the unit wise important questions so stay tuned with this channel and let us have a look at the unit number first that is introduction to microwave so the first question is microwave frequency band examiner can ask this question into two ways for the two marks or for the four marks if this question comes for the two marks then the examiner will ask for the frequency of a specific band but on the other hand if this question is asked for the four marks then we have to draw the table regarding to the frequency of all the frequency bands so this is all about the microwave frequency bands moving on to the question number two that is mmic and mic see the examiner can ask that what is the difference between MIC or MMIC and he can also ask about the material used or the fabrication and the property regarding with the MMIC and MIC fabrication. So this type of question can come into the two marks where we have to write only the definition of the MMIC and MIC or for the four marks we have to write whole fabrication processes as well as this property. Moving on to the third question that is application of microwave. See examiner can easily ask for the application of microwave because it is a very common question. And in your book there is a chart that is associated with the application of microwave and that chart basically covers the medical and the civil application. So these are the two important topics for the application of microwave. Now let us have a look at the unit number two that is mathematical model of microwave transmission according to the question number four that is degenerate and dominant mode examiner can ask for the differences between the degenerate as well as dominant mode or also he asks for the definition for the degenerate or the dominant mode separately and i also covered uh, these two topics in my video lecture so you can prefer that also moving on to the next question that is question number five for the rectangular waveguide See, the TE mode and the TM mode is allowed for the propagation in the rectangular waveguide, but the TEM mode is not allowed. So, examiner can ask for the derivation associated with TE and TM mode. Also, we need to draw the field pattern for the TE as well as TM mode in the rectangular waveguide. And there are the, some numericals that are associated with the TE and TM mode that will be given into your book. So you can prefer that also and the rest of the derivations as well as the field pattern tutorial is covered in my video lecture so you can prefer that also moving on to question number six that is reason based question where we have to give some reasons like in the a part the examiner can ask for the tem -EM mode is not possible in waveguide why so we have to specify the reason that why tem mode is not possible in waveguide moving on to part number b that is te and tm mode exist in the rectangular waveguide for this we also have to give the reason and according to the part number c that is the phase and the group velocity are not same in the rectangular waveguide so these are the reason based question that examiner can also ask so this is all about the unit number two now let us have a look at the unit number three that is analysis of RF and the microwave transmission line and according to the question number seven examiner can ask for the difference between the micro strip as well as a strip line on the basis of the field pattern and the figure. See there are two variation for this question for the two marks or for the four marks. Firstly we will talk about the two marks. Here the examiner can ask only for the definition regarding to the strip line or the micro strip line separately. But for the four marks we need to draw the field pattern for the micro strip as well as strip line and we also have to differentiate between the micro strip and strip line on the basis of their figures. So this is all about the unit number three. Now let us have a look at the unit number four that is microwave network analysis. According to the question number eight that is is charactering parameter for the four losses see there are four losses associated with scattering parameter that are insertion loss transmission loss reflection loss as well as return loss 
So we have to describe all the four losses associated with the scattering parameter. So this is all about question number eight. Going on to the next question, that is impedance, admittance, as well as scattering parameter for the two port network. So firstly, we will describe the scattering parameter for the two port network. After that, we will analyze its impedance as well as admittance characteristics. Now, according to question number 10, we need to prove that it is impossible to construct perfectly matched lossless reciprocal three port junction. So this is most important question and this question also came in the examinations of the microwave theory 2019. So guys prepare this question very well. Now let us have a look at the unit number 5 that is passive and active microwave devices. And according to the question number 11, we need to describe about the E plane T, H plane T as well as E H plane T along with the scattering matrix. So firstly we have to write their definition along with the description after that we have to derive its scattering matrix also and it is also an important question moving on to the next question that is question number 12 in which we have to derive the scattering matrix for these four parts that is magic t directional coupler circulator as well as isolators and it is the most important question and the repeated question as well so study it seriously See, magic T is also an important question because the examiner can ask for the application as well as the properties for the magic T. So study it also. Moving on to the next question that is define attenuator as well as resonator. So this is the short type question which will come into the two marks of question. As well as we need to differentiate between the attenuator as well as resonator. So study that also. Moving on to the next question regarding to the diodes that is question number 14. Here we have four types of diode. According to the part number A, here the gun diode. So the examiner can ask for the energy band diagram of the gun diode and the gun diode basically works on the principle of gun effect. So the gun effect is the question that will come into the two marks category also. Also this question is important for the 10 marks where we have to write the fabrication, construction, working, characteristic as well as the application of gun diode. So this is most important question. Moving on to next that is pin diode, where we have to discuss about the principle, construction, working and the characteristics of pin diode. The next question is define the short key diode as well as impact diode. So this is the very short type question that will arise into the two marks category where the examiner can ask only for the definition for the impact diode as well as short key diode. Moving on to the next question that is microwave tube. So there are four types of microwave tube. According to the part number A, traveling wave tube that is also been abbreviated as TWT. So examiner can ask for the description of the TWT on the basis of slow wave structure. So read it carefully on the basis of slow wave structures. Moving on to next part that is two cavity klystron and the reflex klystron as well. So these are the two types of klystron and there is very major difference between these two types of klystron. So either examiner can ask for the differences between these two type of question and also he can ask for the construction, working, bunching process and the velocity modulation of these two klystron separately. See the velocity modulation is the principle of working of two cavity klystron. So keep in mind also and also the velocity modulation can come into the two marks of question. So this is all about the klystron. Moving on to part number C that is magnetron where we have to describe the working principle construction as well as the figure for the magnetron. So these all are the microwave tubes. Now according to the next question that is question number 16 where we have to describe about the ring resonator. This is also an important question you have to describe it only theoretically according to the question number 17 that is Wilkinson power divider and its numerical see this is the repeated question and you all have to focus on this question as well as its numerical part also now let us have a look at the question number 18 that is red race junction so this is the theoretical concept and you have to describe it in the two marks question only 
Now let us have a look at the unit number 6 that is microwave design principle. According to the question number 19 that is radiation pattern as well as microwave antenna parameter. So examiner can ask us to describe each and every microwave antenna parameter along with that block diagram. So prepare it carefully. Now let us have a look at the unit number 7 that is microwave measurements. And according to the question number 20 there are two types of analyzers that are network analyzer as well as spectrum analyzer. So the examiner can ask this question either in the two marks category or in the four marks category. In the two marks category we need to define it that is the network analyzer as well as spectrum analyzer. But if this question come in the four marks then we need to draw the types as well as the figure for the network analyzer and spectrum analyzer. Moving on to the next question that is 21 where we need to describe the method for the microwave power measurement. See guys this is the most important question also and this is repeated question that's why I had covered it. Moving on to next question that is method of impedance and the frequency measurements. So this is also an important question. So this is all about the unit number 7. Now let us have a look at the last unit that is unit number 8 microwave systems. So according to the question number 23, we need to describe the EMI and the EMC. Also, the examiner can ask for the differences between the EMI and EMC. So study it carefully and this is the important as well as repeated question also. Moving on to the next question that is noise figure in which we need to describe the noise figure. This is the question that will come into the 4 marks or into the 2 marks category. In the 2 marks category we need to only define it but in the 4 marks category we have to describe it on the basis of its parameters. Moving on to next question that is photolithography process along with its diagram. See guys this is the 4 marks question that will be asked by the examiner and this is the repeated question also. Moving on to next question 26 that is microwave imaging. This is the phenomena for the microwave systems. So study it carefully and the last but not the least that is question number 27 in which we have to describe about the radars, its construction, working, diagram along with its application. So this is all about the unit number 8. So this is all about the 8th unit and they are regarding a specific question for the microwave theory and technique examination. And if you like my content then do like share and subscribe to my youtube channel and support it guys. Goodbye and best of luck.